Hey guys, John here. Have a review for you on the 160 gigabyte Apple TV. Um, as I'll go into a little bit more detail, for what I wanted the Apple TV for, does everything. I was looking for something that I could stream my video from my computer to my television for, and all my music. I've got more music and audio than I could fit on my iPod, so just hooking it up with cables to my TV uh, wasn't really an option for me, and I didn't want to hook up my computer to the television be worried about it getting damaged or falling off the little stand that I have. So for me, the Apple TV is great. I knew going in that it didn't, um, wasn't a DVR that you couldn't download wirelessly. You know, you have to know all that before you, uh, before you purchase. But if you know what the flaws are, you can really appreciate the, the shiny aspects of it. And that's really just a video and audio playback is, is top notch. It's not high def, but looks better than anything on standard television. So guys, enjoy the review. Any questions or comments, let me know. And uh, thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye. All right, guys, let's get down to it. So here is the main menu for the Apple TV uh, with the recent software update. You can see it's got movies, TV shows, YouTube, music, podcasts, photos, settings, and sources. And I'll go through each one for you uh, very quickly. Right now, this is stuff that I have streamed from my computer and store it on the hard drive of the Apple TV. So I'll show you what a movie looks like that's been downloaded from iTunes. Pirates of the Caribbean, the second one. It takes a minute to load up. You can resume playing from where you were. Start from the beginning. I'll resume playing. It comes from these sales. Brace the foyer! Must I inquire as to how you came by these? So there you go. As you guys can see, I don't know if you can see it through the video here, the quality is excellent. It doesn't look pixelated. Um, from far back or up close. When I looked in the Apple store, it looked very pixelated. Maybe it was the TV or the connection they had. Uh, but here on mine, HD banged on standard television or HBO. You can also, in the movie section, view some theatrical trailers that will stream from the internet. Um, and again, they look good too. Uh, here's one for Eagle vs. Shark. You can see how long it takes to load up. It's buffering. And there it goes, it's playing. And I'm just on a wireless Linksys G router, not even N. So you can see how quick it is. And uh, pretty smooth. Hey, fool. Sucker. Foolish. Foolish sucker. Movie looks funny. It's the same guys that did Flight of the Concords. Um, so there's the movie section here. Uh, TV shows. Looks the same. I got an episode of 24 I've been watching. Look just like any other episode of uh, 24 on standard television. Uh, looks good. Um, go down here next to YouTube. Some of the new features they added with the recent software updates um, lets you view um, YouTube videos just like you can on uh, the iPhone. Let's I'll just check out one of them. Show you how long it takes to load. Here's the first one that comes up here. Takes a minute to buffer. And there it goes, now it's playing. Yeah, you know, same YouTube quality. 534. Alright. You guys don't need to see all that. Um, the Apple TV really does everything that I wanted it to do. I've got more video and audio files than I can store on my iPod. So it's nice to be able to have the option of having everything streamed right to my television. Uh, if I'm cleaning up the kitchen, I can listen to music, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, if I want to watch some TV that I downloaded. You know, you can do it. It's Like I said, it's not for everybody, but for what I needed to do, it's excellent. Um, so we'll get out of YouTube here. Uh, music. Looks just like your iPod. Shuffle song, music videos, playlists, artists. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when you uh, when you play something. So I'll just do uh, artists. Pick one. Uh, here is uh, Audio Slave, for example. See what it looks like when we play. Pulls up the album art. And there you guys go. One cool thing about Apple TV is whether you're watching um, or whether you're listening to music or going through pictures, which I'll show you in a minute, it pulls up a screensaver so it doesn't burn an image into your, uh, your flat screen TV. Um, and I'll show you guys what the screensaver is in a minute. Uh, you've got the option of pictures, 
that you have stored on here, album covers, um, or just random Apple image. So I'll show you guys right now what that screensaver looks like. You can set it to go at different time intervals. I've got mine set to go at two minutes. So here is what it looks like. All right, so anyway, here it is. Here's a screensaver. It's a bunch of pictures. As you play another song, it pops up in the back right-hand corner. It rotates around. Uh, pretty cool. All right, so that was the music section of it. Podcasts. I don't have any. Just pulls podcasts down uh, from iTunes that you have set to go on your iPod or computer. Uh, photos is very cool. Pulls down all the photos that you have from uh, from anywhere. Um, kind of neat. Pulls in all the playlists from uh, from iPhoto. I don't know how it does it on a PC. Like I said, I've got a Mac. Uh, settings, as you go through it, about to be resolution, whether it's so yeah, 720, 1080i, 1080p, uh, the network, it's got a wireless N uh, built in. iTunes Store, there's nothing there yet. It doesn't let you download stuff, just pulls up a language thing there. Screensaver, you can set the screensaver. Uh, brightness, software updates, it'll check for updates automatically. Reset the settings. Under sources, one of the cool things here is anybody who brings their computer into uh, your wireless network, you can actually stream a uh, video from them or stream music from them or anything they have on their computer. It's very cool. And as you guys saw earlier on YouTube, for example, the streaming is very smooth. Overall, I really like the Apple TV. Uh, like I said, for what I needed for it's excellent. It does everything I needed to do, everything I wanted it to do. I knew what the shortcomings were. I knew that it wasn't a DVR going in. Uh, and that's okay. I have a DVR for that. And Apple TV is not for everybody, but if you want a great way to get your content from your computer to your television without having to hook up your iPod with cables and all that stuff, the Apple TV is a really great way to do it with a lot more storage space. Anyway, guys, just a very quick review. I hope it was helpful. There's obviously a lot more I could have gone into. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll try and answer it for you. Uh, thanks for Thanks for watching, and thank you all for subscribing, and enjoy. Bye, guys.